Welcome back, everybody. This is Western Kentucky Raiders, and this is the 2012 season. Uh, I just uh, did the 2012 season, and let's get right started to the standings and uh, the tournament. We're going to do all that in one big piece here. Let's get right into it. Uh, we're going to go into the ACC. Uh, Virginia Tech was uh, a big winner in bracket one. Uh, Miami was not much of a threat. So let's take a look at the next uh, bracket. Uh, West Wake Forest was uh, was there for a while, and then they eventually pulled it out against Virginia, and that turned out to be where Virginia Tech won by its final score of ten to one. So let's go back real quick. Let's see uh, West Virginia was okay, and they and Notre Dame gave them a small problem in game two, but. Uh, Overall, there's no big problem with West Virginia. On the other side, it was all St. John. They had to come back and lose his bracket, but they did. Let's go to, let's go to Big Ten, Penn State. We found them sound once again this season, uh, but Minnesota's starting to get a little better. Uh, and so is Ohio State. So uh, uh, Ohio State is a little better, but they got wiped out against uh, Penn State in the very end. Go to Big 12. Uh, Texas was all big again this year. Uh, not much of any problem for them at all on this side of the bracket. Let's go over to the other side. Uh, Nebraska was, was decent. And they had... Uh, uh, sorry, I have a lot of a little cold today. But they know how to play fundamental baseball. But, but against Texas, uh, well, they were still okay. But they came up short. Uh, the big problem was... Uh, Nebraska got down early and they couldn't recover. And they couldn't score until when it was too late. Uh, let's go back. Let's go to the next uh, conference. Conference USA. Eastern Carolina had trouble with Rice. But Rice had trouble with uh, Southern Miss. Southern Miss took care of the uh, situation and moved on. Let's see who uh, had to meet on the other side. It was uh, Central Florida. And uh, so the men had no problem, I don't think. No, they did, and they won eight to two. Move on to the Missouri Valley, uh, Wichita State. They started off strong, but they uh, lost the game, the next perspective game. But they were able to make it. Uh, but overall, any, uh, the Redbirds uh, won eight to four over at Evansville to claim the big prize. Go to the Midwest. Uh, Utah was still strong. You know, San Diego State gave them a lot of uh, trouble in Game Two, but they had no problem overall. As you can see, they won in, in convincing fashion in the second part of the tournament. Let's go to the Patriot. Uh, there's a Army. Didn't, Army failed to get something going. And Lafayette uh, beat Bucknell for the Patriot uh, title. There's the scores right there. Let's go to the SEC. Uh, Hawks were really on fire this year. They only had one rare loss, and it was at the very beginning of the year. Um, Vanderbilt was getting a little better, uh, but they didn't give the Hawks very much problems. And Kentucky's starting to get a little better. But uh, the LSU decided to, uh, to get better as well. So LSU and Kentucky, as well as Vanderbilt, uh, are they going to be the, probably be the big players again next year? You know, LSU lost to Georgia, but that was a fluke. So that brings where it was all there is the golden boot for the SEC title, and there's all hogs 11 0. And to move on to the Sun Belt. Uh, New Orleans was a, a, a unique player this year. They they were a, a upcomer this year. Uh, didn't have really any trouble at their perspective tournament on the, on the side of the bracket. Uh, let's go over to the other side, Arkansas State. They had no problems as well either, except for uh, the last two games. They were starting to run out of steam. And the score of that was, uh, what, but New Orleans couldn't handle uh, offensive power of Arkansas State. And look at look at that. The big difference was that uh, New Orleans couldn't 
pull off a second run in the bottom of the ninth to force extra innings. But that was otherwise known as a great game. Uh, the West Coast, uh, we have uh, Santa Clara. <coughs> For the previous season, I actually re uh, labeled him as Southern Cal, but that was my mistake. I, but I should be no, he should be noted in that uh, video. Where, but San Diego is a new player as well this year, and they look strong, and they and they were, but more convincingly in Game Two. Uh, Southern Continental uh, still no definite uh, player yet at this time. And in Atlanta Penn, uh, Massachusetts is still big. Uh, that takes care of that. Uh, let's go. Let's go back uh, to see um, top 25. And let's go. Arkansas is still on top. Cal State Fullerton. But let's go back down. LSU. Let's see, Santa Clara, like I said, there, we have a few new players. That'd be uh, San, look at that, San Diego, Fresno State, New Orleans. And that, that should do it for this one in UCLA. Uh, we'll talk more about that uh, in the next clip about the standings. Until then, have a great day.